Hey there! Welcome to our Meshtastic tutorial series. Today, we're taking a hands-on look at the WizMesh Board One Pocket, a modular, handheld device built for serious Meshtastic users who want more than just a basic node. Here's what we'll cover. First one is what's in the box. Then what are the key features? Next is how to power up and pair. Flashing firmware the easy way. Difference between GPS versus non-GPS models. Then final tips and recommendations. Let's dive in. Here's what you get with the Board One Pocket. A USB-C charging cable. A LoRa antenna. The WizMesh board one pocket itself. Right out of the box, you'll notice the premium build and larger display. It's plug and play, no extra parts needed to get started. Now let's talk about what makes the board one pocket stand out. Unlike most DIY builds, this is a purpose-built device. Modular, field-ready, and designed for real-world use. Here are the highlights. 1.3-inch OLED display. Larger and sharper than the common 0.96-inch screens. WizBlock sensor slot. Lets you expand with WizBlock modules like motion or environment, unless you're using the GPS version. External SMA antenna port. Improves signal quality and supports higher gain antennas. Built-in BMS plus solar input. Comes with power management and optional solar charging support. Physical buttons plus LED indicators. Button plus LED setup allows full offline usability. Let's take a closer look at the controls. Everything is right at your fingertips. There's a switch on the side to toggle power on or off. On the left button here are the functions. Single press to switch screen. Double press to send current location. Triple press to toggle GPS. On the right button, the reset or DFU button. Single press to restart. Double press to enter DFU mode. On the circular hole above the screen is the RGB LED indicator. We'll explain the color indicators next. To power on the device, slide the right side switch up. Once it's on, the RGB LED gives you real-time status updates. Here's a quick LED color indicator guide. Solid red light indicates it's charging. Solid green means powered on. Breathing green light means it is in DFU mode. Blinking green indicates MCU activity. Blue blinking means new message received. Now, to pair with the Meshtastic app, first is open the Meshtastic app on your phone. Then find and select WizMesh Pocket. Then confirm Bluetooth pairing. After connecting to Bluetooth, you must select the region before you can use it. That's it. You're connected and ready to go. If you're finding this useful, hitting that like button really helps support the channel. The Board One Pocket comes preloaded with Meshtastic 2.5.20, but upgrading is simple if needed. Here's how to flash the firmware. First, go to flasher.meshtastic.org. Then choose Rack Wisp Block 4631. Select the firmware. But before you flash the firmware, you need to erase the current firmware first. Click the trash bin icon to erase current firmware. Then enter DFU mode. There are two methods to enter DFU mode. The first one is by double pressing the right button on the Wisp Mesh Board One Pocket. The second method is by just simply click Enter DFU mode here on the site. Now minimize this window, download the UF2 file here on the site. 
Once download is done, copy the UF2 file to the DFU drive. Then click Continue. Now we can flash the firmware. Click the Flash button. Then click Continue below. Now click on Download UF2. Now that you've downloaded the firmware, copy that UF2 firmware file to the DFU drive. The device will reboot automatically. Now flashing is complete. Flashing is easy once you know the flow. GPS or not, the setup is the same. It's important to choose your model based on your needs. There are two versions of the Wiz Mesh Pocket. One is with GPS, sensor slot is taken. And the second is without GPS. Sensor slot is free for customization. While you can disassemble the case to swap out the GPS module, but it's not plug and play. If you want more flexibility, go for the non-GPS version. Here are pro tips before you deploy. First, use a high-gain antenna if you want better range. Second, if you're using the GPS version, keep in mind, it consumes more power, so don't expect multi-day battery life. Good news for tinkerers since the case is super easy to open. There's no buzzer installed, but that won't affect any of the core functionality. And finally, the solar port is there if you want to customize, but it's totally optional. Let's recap what we covered. First was what's in the box. Then the key features overview, powering up and pairing. Next was how to flash the firmware. Lastly, choosing the right version. If you're ready to level up your mesh-tastic setup, the Board One Pocket is a solid choice. Ready to build better? Grab yours at store.rackwireless.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments. We're here to help.